What's up guys, Justin here with the renderingessentials.com back with another twin motion update video for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk through some of the new features contained inside the newest release of twin motion, twin motion 2020.2. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first of all, I apologize in advance. Um, the reason I haven't made this video before is because I haven't been able to get the file downloaded. So unfortunately, due to the pandemic, I haven't really been out a whole lot and I haven't been able to get to a place where my internet is fast enough to download this release. But I thought that I'd at least make a video talking about where you can find information about this, what's contained inside of it, and uh, things like that. So first thing, you can find all of this information on this Unreal Engine blog post, and I will link to this in the notes down below. It walks through all the new features contained inside of version 2020.2. And so um, we're going to scroll down and take a look at some of the stuff that's contained in here. So the first thing that I think a lot of people are going to be really happy with is the interactive or parametric doors. So you would not believe the number of times I've gotten the question, how do I animate doors inside of Twin Motion? And so now we have actually two new features that can help us with this. So the first is the interactive and parametric doors. And so these are basically a door library. So it's a library of doors that you can bring into Twin Motion. They automatically fit to openings. And so there's actually a really great video on this on Twin Motion's YouTube channel. And uh, I will link to this in the notes down below showing you exactly how this works. But for example, these doors will fit to an opening. So you can create an opening, then you can drag these in and place them and you can see how they'll automatically fit to an opening. So that's really great news because now all you have to do is just model the opening and then drop this in. And I hope to make a video uh, talking about this more in depth in the future. But the other great thing about these doors is they also animate. So what that means is that means in addition to um, being doors that sit at an opening, they actually open or close inside of your model. And so the way that that works is you set a trigger. And so there's a trigger in here. Um, in a lot of cases, that's your camera getting to a certain point in the door. And then once you set that trigger, like if your camera was to fly into this space, the doors will open automatically. And so you can set this to trigger based on different things. Um, you can also adjust how far the doors open, other things like that. So you can actually set this up where doors will open automatically um, depending on where your camera location is. And this is where we start to see the power of Unreal Engine because I've seen videos of people teaching you how to do stuff like this inside of Unreal Engine. Well, now these features can be added in Unreal Engine and then brought into Twin Motion. So I'm hoping we're going to see more things having to do with the scripting and other things like that in the future. So in addition, these doors are all adjustable. And so when we talk about the doors being adjustable, um, you can adjust things like your hinge style or your different rails, other things like that. There's also different, uh, there's different hardware sets that you can place on these doors. So you can really adjust these so that they look the way that you want them to look. So things like colors and other things like that are adjustable as well. So really excited to see this. You're gonna be able to find these in your library under rotating doors. There's a number of different doors in here that you can check out. So in addition, um, and I love this tool as well, they've also added different animator objects. And so previously, the only way you could really animate things inside of Twin Motion was to animate them moving along a path. Um, and uh, I think a lot of people wanted to be able to make things move like up and down or rotate. Well, they've added two different animator type objects that allow you to either rotate or translate objects inside of your models. And so the way that that works, and I will link to this video as well, they've got a great tutorial on this. Um, the way that this works is there's a rotator object that's contained inside a twin motion and you drag that onto an object, you link them together, and then you can set if the object is going to rotate or not. So you can see how you can set like a rotation point. You can make things rotate around that point. And again, you've got the same thing where you've got triggers in here that'll make things rotate um, just like this. So the rotator tool is gonna be really great for making things rotate in place. There's also a translator tool. And what the translator tool is going to do is that's gonna let you move things um, up and down 
like this. So you can see how you could set this in order to make things move along an axis, up or down, left or right, things like that. So this gives you a lot more um, options inside of Twin Motion about how you can animate different things. I think it's something that people have been asking for for a long time. So it's really exciting to see this added into the new version. So in addition, they've also added a tool that allows you to animate construction phasing. So basically what they did is they added a timeline tool um, that you can use to create different phases and then you can link objects to those phases. So I will link to this video in the notes down below, but basically what this does, basically what this does is this allows you to create a timeline and then you can link different objects to things on the timeline in order to have them show up at different points. So you can export an animation showing a building getting built step by step and phase by phase. So this can be really important for creating construction animations and visualizations talking about different schedule things. Now I'm not 100% sure if there's any kind of integration right now into any scheduling software. I don't think that there is. I think this is more something you need to build out manually, but I think for a lot of contractors and other people like that, um, it's going to be, and architects as well, I think it's going to be a great tool to have to be able to actually like visualize the phasing of a project using this tool. So those are kind of the new features. In addition, there's also some engine upgrades that they've done. So they've gone through and they've made the water material more realistic. So now your water is going to um, react in a more realistic way to the light. So there's also some different depth changes and things like that. This has been on the um, on the Twin Motion roadmap for a while, so it's nice to see this one on here. They've also upgraded the rain and puddles function, so that those functions are going to look, or so that those puddles are going to look a bit a little bit more realistic as well and they've also they've also improved the car material so there's now a clear coat effect on there so basically what this is going to do is it's going to make your car material look more realistic if you've got it placed on objects inside your renderings so in addition, they've also added some things to their asset library. So they've added new trees um, that are more East Asian trees. So, so the nice thing about this is this allows more regional type stuff. So if you're creating a scene that's supposed to happen in the East Asian region, having vegetation in there can be really helpful. So I'd like to see more stuff like this in the future to make Twin Motion more, um, more accessible to other areas as well. So I'm sure we can look forward to additional assets in the future. But um, based solely on this image, these look pretty good and I'm excited to try these out. They've also added some construction vehicles, which I think are going to pair really nicely with that, uh, with the uh, phasing function. So you can, you can actually customize these with like company logos and other things like that. So again, um, really a move I think targeted towards general contractors and people that do like actual construction animations. I think this is a great move. So they've also got some customizable aircraft where you can add like custom logos different colors, things like that as well. Um, so and then finally, so update availability. So if you already have Twin Motion 2020, you get this as a free upgrade. If you don't, you can currently get 2020.2 at a 50% off price. Um, that's going to be a perpetual license that's going to run. Um, that basically gets you a license that you get to keep permanently, and it includes all upgrades through the end of December of next year. So if that's something you're interested in, this could be a great time to jump in at that 50% off price. So one thing I would recommend is make sure you go check out the Twin Motion Public Roadmap, which I will link to in the notes down below. This is where they list their features that are either in progress or under consideration. So you can see in the the release tab, um, there's different things in here like your rotator and translator. These are things that have already been released, but there's also items in here that are either under consideration or in progress. And so for each one of these, if you like them, like for example, under the in progress, there's import twin motion projects in Unreal Engine. Well, you can click on this and you can go down and you can make a note on how important this is to you, make sure you leave a description. So if there are features that you wanna see, either submit an idea on the roadmap or go in and vote on the ones that are in there so that you can show Twin Motion um, really what's important to you within that program. 
So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this release, about the new features. Just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.